Yeah, maybe this fits really good, this question after. I'm uh, Fabian, I'm the uh, lead dev developer for the Ethereum project. I built the Mist browser. Um, for which project? The Ethereum project. I've heard of it. Yes, I guess so. Um, yeah, when you're describing these building blocks, which is a, it's a really nice way of describing it because it actually in the internally works um, different than it does from the outside, like you say. Um, I would like to hear your opinion about um, Ethereum in, uh, in general because the Bitcoin uh, building blocks, it's rather like you have Lego with three pieces only while having a smart contract language where you can build whatever you want, you basically have an unlimited amount of building blocks. Yes. And therefore, like doing things like, for example, what uh, the previous questioner said or asked was exactly, is rather simple to do because you can build whatever you want. You can build whatever distribution system in a smart contract you want. Yeah. So I would like to hear your opinion about Ethereum, smart contracts in general, and um, like, yeah, the future where the blockchain is okay. moving, right? Um, I'm a fan of Ethereum. I, I was involved in Ethereum from before Ethereum launched, because Vitalik was uh, kind enough to share the white paper with me for comment before he published it. Um, and I, I've been involved and fascinated from the very first day. And when he sent me the paper, I called him up to ask him and to talk to him about all the ways I thought this wouldn't work. Skepticism is healthy, and he persuaded me that in fact he had really good answers to those things. Um, you know, there is a balance to be struck between having pieces in your Lego set that do more interesting things, and, and there are some things you really can't do with a square piece that has four bumps on it. You just can't. You can't make a wheel out of it. You can't make a head of a little person out of it. Um, you can't make a, a window out of it, a transparent thing out of it. Which is why in Lego you have those things specifically designed as the exception. But if you've ever gone to one of these exhibitions, you've probably seen them make entire buildings, the, the Death Star, um, the Star Trek Enterprise, the Empire State Building, out of just simply different colored four square blocks. Because at enough resolution, you can do some quite amazing things, even just with little square blocks. There is a place for both. and I think those two technologies work really well together. Bitcoin, because it is more limited, um, on purpose, quite, quite honestly, is designed to deliver a very solid, very wide foundation um, that has very, very robust security. Which is why, even though Ethereum is one sixth of the capitalization, it is one two hundred and fifty thousandth of the security power uh, in terms of the hashing uh, power that goes behind it. Um, for some things, you need a very solid, wide foundation, and for some things, you need a spike. Right? You need something that is very focused. And the two work very good together. Uh, in fact, I think Ethereum can use some of the underlying security in Bitcoin to become even more robust itself. We don't know yet. Um, I'm interested in both, and I'm even more interested in the broader idea, which is how do you use the technologies within both Ethereum and Bitcoin to do things like two-way pegged sidechains and dynamic decentralized exchanges between the two, so that you can have an Ethereum contract that's paid for in Bitcoin that controls a Bitcoin wallet or something else. So you can use everything for what it's best for. Um, and they can work synergistically. The best part about Ethereum for me was that two years ago, when we had a crisis in Bitcoin, people were like, empty Gox exploded. Oh my God, we're going to lose all our money. So they sold Bitcoin and went into fiat. And this year, they're like, oh, my Kern blew everything up. Bitcoin's dead again for the hundredth and twelfth time. And this time they didn't go into fiat. A good third of them went into Ethereum. It was like, whoa. That's like not getting off the bus, but changing to another bus. 
And the end result was when the prices of both went up, more people from the outside joined both Bitcoin and Ethereum, and the whole space got bigger. Um, cryptocurrencies work really well together. The barriers for liquidity are very low. Um, they make uh, great synergistic partners. So I'm very excited about the development of other cryptocurrencies that are now robust enough to stand on their own and to provide um, you know, partnership with Bitcoin and promote the entire space. They're not competitive. Um, they are addressing different needs, which is why I think Ethereum is so successful, is because it is sufficiently differentiated from Bitcoin to be focused on a different need. Um, I'm invested a bit in Ethereum. Um, so I bought like a small amount of ether. But that's just a disclosure, a necessary disclosure.